Hi everyone, today on the healing bench we have this JBL headphones that have an issue with the uh, connector. They have this angled connector that's like 45 degrees that uh, was probably kicked while being plugged in and now it developed an issue that it loses contact if flex here. I'm not sure if you can notice that on the camera, but when I pull this you can visibly see that we have a break in the connector here and that causes one of the sides not to work. So the plan is that we replace it with a new connector. The first job that we have is removing the old one without damaging the wires too much because we need to figure out which wire is connected to which pin. And before going any further, let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is PCBWay. PCBWay is a professional quick turn PCB prototyping PCB assembly and low volume production manufacturer located in Shenzhen, China. They have more than a decade of experience in the industry and they offer a wide range of services including PCB prototyping, CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding and metal sheet fabrication. Their easy to use online ordering system, fast turnaround times and high quality products make them the go-to choice for hobbyists, makers and small businesses. Plus, their customer support team is always available to answer your questions and provide assistance. PCBWay offers a variety of PCB options including single-sided, double-sided and multi-layer boards with a wide range of materials, thicknesses and copper weights. Their PCB assembly service, where they can assemble your PCB with components, is a great option for projects that require more than just the PCB so you get a fully finished product. Visit the link in the video description and see for yourself why PCBWay is the best choice for all of your PCB and manufacturing needs. The way that I'm going to do this is to use an X-Acto knife and start cutting up the silicon plastic that surrounded the connector see if that goes well and if not then I might switch to a larger blade so let's see I don't want to cut into the connector so you really need to be careful when doing this because this might slip and it might cut you in the fingers I'm trying to be extra careful and you can clearly see the problem here this part over here and this part are part of a plastic piece that is just broken here let's continue removing the connector And it appears that below that silicon on top there is a layer of hard plastic that this is uh, like uh, molded into and it won't be that easy for me to identify which wire goes to which pin so I'm gonna cut the wire here at the end strip out the wires and then I'll try to do the measurements with the multimeter we're gonna need to cut this anyway so let's proceed with that There are four color coded wires here, white, red, green and blue and there's also one that doesn't have any insulation on it so I'm guessing that that will be the outer layer and I'm obviously wrong uh, so that's the third one and to recall this I have this so this one is uh, like O without any insulation let's try and see where the blue one goes obviously one of the wires might not have a connection but that should be limited to just one 
Okay. And it's possible that we have this shorted now. Because I've cut into the wires here. Okay, let's try to find the other one. So we have blue here as well. Let's try the green one. And green one doesn't have any yet, red. White maybe. Okay, so we know that white is on the outside. Let's try red one more time. Maybe if I try to... Okay, that would be difficult with one hand. One second, please. Okay, so I wired this where now I have a crocodile clip on one end. Let's try. I have it to the red. And this is the red wire. Okay, let's mark it. And now let's try the green one. Lost the connection there. And the green one is the one that is disconnected. If I push on the connector, we see that I now get the connection. So I have this on the green one and I have this on the front. So this one is green and should the blue and the shielding be connected on this one? It makes sense. We have white, we have the open with the blue, we have red and we have green and those are all of the connections that we need. So now let's strip out the end of this cable and attach the connector. And I've peeled a bit more on the plastic here and we can see that why it goes all the way on the outside that corresponds with our drawing here. Uh, it's out of focus but the next connection is the open wire and you can just see a touch of blue there confirming that we have connection on that we have next one is the red that's soldered just on there and finally is the green one that was disconnected so we know we have a good wiring now let's connect the new connector
Okay, so it's soldered. I'm not particularly proud of my soldering job, but those were some really fine contacts and fine wires. I've measured across, so there is no immediate short. I can measure the coils of the headphones. So now it's time to close this connector and I'm gonna try to make something as a strain relief. So maybe a knot here or a C or something else. We'll see once we get the uh, cover on. And to provide some strain relief on the cable, I've used a piece of wire that I just then wrapped around in two layers. So the, this should be enough uh, width so it doesn't pull through at the end, but it should uh, hold the cable nicely. I'm gonna add a drop of CA glue on there as a good measure. So everything is nice and solid. And that is holding the cable nicely. So we'll wait a second for that CA glue to solidify and then we'll screw this on, hopefully without making any short circuit within the connector. And here is the connector, all nice and compact. I did test it out the headphones on my computer and they do work, but to show you, I'm gonna plug this into the computer and I'm gonna play a song from the YouTube audio library. And here's the left headphone next to the microphone. And now here is the right one, right one. So you can see that both of them work and the headphones are now good to be used again. If you like this video, then be sure to check out this playlist where I do a lot of repairs and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future ones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.